Sports, an historic night for the Atlanta Braves. They christened SunTrust Park tonight with the first home game of the season. Sports director Dave Staley was there to check out the new digs in Marietta. Here's his story. New is a beautiful thing, no matter what it is. And new is what you would call the Atlanta Braves' next home, SunTrust Park. A great night of pomp and circumstance for the 41,000 plus faithful. Nothing like a home opener at a brand new ballpark for the customer and the player. Getting to be on the op you know, opening day roster at the new field, everybody's really excited to be here, no doubt about it. Yeah, I'm just excited for the season to start. We have no complaints about anything or anything we'd change at this point, so uh, yeah, it's exciting. This is going to be electric, man. This is a beautiful stadium. I think fans are excited. We're excited. And we're just, uh, we're ready to, we, we miss home, man. Bringing in a brand new ballpark is not a new thing for the Atlanta Braves. Remember 1997, Turner Field. Chipper Jones, for one, remembers that day very well. All these guys are excited to, to put their name possibly in a, in a record book tonight. Or, um, you know, this is going to be a, a well-documented, it's one of the biggest nights in Atlanta history. And uh, to be a part of that, it's a very special thing. It's very, very nice. It's what, exactly what we needed. Um, I mean, it feels like it caters to every single one of our needs that we could ever ask for. And, um, you know, they're investing in that, which is cool. The one negative to the new digs? Parking and tight concourses, but on a night like this, none of that matters. From Marietta, Dave Staley, News Channel 9 Sports. Thanks very much, Dave. Now to the game itself. Incredible opening ceremony. Military jet flyover, huge American flag across the outfield, and Braves legend Hank Aaron throwing out the first pitch to Bobby Cox. Bottom of the first, Nick Marcakis hammers one to the right field wall. That's a stand-up double, and it would plate two runs. Braves lead at 2-0 in the brand-new ballpark. Top of the second, Padres Manuel Margot at the plate, two on the sacks, ropes one to right field. Marcakis makes a diving stab at it, but no, we're knotted at two just like that. Let's fast forward to the bottom of the six. Braves up 3-2. First home run in the brand new park. Off the bat of Ender Inciarte. A two-run shot. He crushes to right field. Braves win the home opener 5-2 in the first game played at SunTrust Park. Well, the lookout's on the road in Jacksonville where they have dropped the first two to the Jumbo Shrimp. No joke, that is their new name. It's in the books. Crustaceans take it 4 nothing. Well, beginning tomorrow, the Tennessee Vols have only four practices left. I made the trek up to Knoxville to check in on the Vols as spring practice winds down. Linebacker Austin Smith, number 11 in this drill, is back in his natural position. Well, whatever team needs me, um, I, I, don't, I don't, I really don't care. I just, I do, I'm just doing it for my team. I love my team a whole lot, and I always be uh, family. We have a thing called family. Forget about me. I love you. So if the team needs me to play safety, D tackle. I, I really don't care. I'm just doing it for the team. The redshirt sophomore came in at 230, beefed up to 260 to play on the D line, and is now back to 235 at the linebacker slot. Smith says. The coaches felt he was better there. Very player friendly. So, like I said, um, just really just like, like a freshman to this year, just maturing on my part and just, uh, just ready to go, to be honest. Just ready to go and make a difference for this team and uh, have a great season. As the Vols move into their last week of spring practice, many of the players have grown into their positions. For Marcus Tatum, that is literal. That's Tatum, number 68, working in front of new offensive line coach Walt Wells. He got into two games last year at about 265 pounds. The sophomore has added about 20 pounds and wants to play at 295. I feel a lot better because going from like Congo, he's a really big guy. And like last year, he outweighed me like 20 pounds. So now I'm like a little more heavier than him. So I can just feel like I feel more confident going against him, more solidified if he goes with the bull rush because he's very talented players. It's quite simple how Marcus filled out. Bread, chicken, protein shakes, water, sleep, lift, repeat. <laughs> you always try to eat before you go to bed? Oh, yes, sir. At least last night I had four PB&Js before bed. Sounds Yummy. like my husband. Four PB&Js right right. before going to bed. <laughs> now, next Friday, I'll have another story for you on the receiving core and one defensive lineman who has beefed up and is seeing more reps in practice. Also, the orange and white game is Saturday, next Saturday, April 22nd at 4 p.m. We will take you there live. Dave Staley will be there and we'll have quite the story for you at that point. All right. Can't wait to see it. Absolutely. John